The calcium channel blockers currently available for clinical use are specific to voltage-gated L-type calcium channels. And at the Kelsey Yum ice cream parlor, we've got a few soft serve machines in the back with some coincidentally L-shaped lever handles. Pull on one and you've just initiated some tasty calcium influx, my friend. Voltage-gated L-type calcium channels are the dominant type in the cardiac and smooth muscle. And if you take a close look around the machines, you'll notice that they've installed some pretty intricate tile work, which should evoke an image of those non-striated smooth muscle cells found within the walls of blood vessels. And next to it, those branch striated fibers of cardiac muscle. The distinction between smooth muscle and cardiac muscle is important because it underlies the selectivity and clinical effects of the two classes of calcium channel blockers, dihydropyridines and non-dihydropyridines. Dihydropyridines and non-dihydropyridines will be represented by the signs for dairy and non-dairy soft serve, respectively. Notice that the dairy sign is displayed on that smooth muscle tile. That's because dihydropyridines have a greater ratio of vascular smooth muscle effects relative to cardiac effects. In other words, they are more selective as smooth muscle vasodilators and have less cardiac depressant effect than the non-dihydropyridines. I mean, just look at that big dilated nozzle as this guy reduces the resistance on that sweet dairy berry flow. 